Good afternoon and thank you for, first of all, thank you that uh, I can find time to play Minche and for me to find in the middle of the day time that someone pray Mincha, something amazing and I am very thank you that you help me to keep my schedule and to pray Mincha in the middle of the day. <laughs> Two days ago we read about Parshat Shmot. We read about the reasons that Nei Israel stayed in Mitzrayim a lot of time. They, uh, they waited till the time that Moshe came and told them that I'm the agent to take you out from Egypt. They waited a long time till they, they can hear two words. Because that in the end of Bereshit, we heard about that Yaakov and Yosef told them that Elohim pakod yifkod etchem. You need to hear two words. You need to hear the agent who said two words and when someone told you that God sent him and he told you pakod yifkod two words, after that this is a time that you can understand that God come to take you. What is the meaning of those two words that it's so important that they need to wait till this time? If you know, if you remember, Chazal explained to us that the children of Ephraim went out from Egypt 30 years before. But it's not the time. The time is only when Moshe came and told them, Elohim pakod yifkod, two words. What is the meaning? It's two parts of Geule, two parts of freedom. To go out from Egypt only for physically Shiabud, it's something, it's very nice, but it's not enough. We need to go out from Egypt, and God said two things. God said to send to Moshe, and said to Moshe and told him that when you take them out from Egypt, you'll go where to You are going to Mountain Sinai, I'm not sure it's mountain, maybe it's hill, but uh, when I saw a lot of mountains, but you are going to this place to receive Torah and with that to go to Eretz Israel. If someone came and told them, Elohim pakad etchem, one word, it's not enough. Because it's only freedom of physically life in, the, in Egypt. But they will in Egypt, they will in, in 49 levels down of Tumen. They need someone who takes them and told them that you have a message to the world. You are the sons of God. You need to receive Torah. Elohim pakod yifkod itchem. Physically and spiritually. And together, this is the man who will take you. Because of that, we read about four glasses. Four gl uh, glasses, it's against four promises that Kodesh Baruch Hu gave us. He, saw, he said, Behotzeiti etchem, veitzalti etchem, vegaalti etchem, velakachti. You can drink something between the, fir the first and the second glasses in the Leila Seder, we can drink. We can drink between the second and the third. 
we can drink, and we did it in the meal in Leila Seder. But we can't drink between the third to fourth. Why? Because the third is against the, third, the third promise. What is the third promise? Ve'ga'alti etchem bizman etuya. I'll take you from Egypt. But the fourth is ve'lakachti etchem li le'am ve'ayiti lachem le'lokim. I'll be you, God, and you will be my sons. We can't separate between to go out from Egypt physically ve'lakachti etchem mimitzrayim to the fourth. The false promise, the false glass. If we know to take them together and to be free with our body and with our soul, this is the symbol, this is the time that we can go out from Egypt.